These are a couple of questions about number systems. Um, so in this first case, we we're looking at an irrational number. Uh, and irrational numbers just work with this a second. The rational numbers is a definition that we could think about there. Rational numbers, they can be they can't be represented like a standard fraction. So this is a common mistake that people get confused and they say, oh, they, they can be represented with a fraction. Um, they can't because uh, irrational numbers are like the value of pi. It just carries on forever. So 3.14159, etc. And it just keeps going along. We don't have pi for this one, uh, but we do have the other one that's a, a good example to remember, which is the square root of two. The square root of two does the same thing. It continues just like pi. It's not a recurring decimal. So um, irrational numbers are not recurring. It's not the same thing. So there we've got an answer for that one. So irrational numbers, they can't be represented like a fraction. Uh, when you convert it to a decimal, they result in a never-ending sequence. So it's well worth remembering that idea. So then the next one we've got is a natural number. So natural numbers represented by an N. And these are numbers that we can use to count. So all positive integer numbers, including zero, belong to that set. So we can, they're numbers we can use to count. So one, two, three, four, five, etc. So in this case, three over four is an option. Square root of two is an option. Minus 19 is an option, but they're only positive counting numbers. So 73 is a good option for this one. So natural numbers, counting numbers. So then we'll just move up a little bit and have a look at define the set of real numbers. So this is a, I was going to say it's a common question. It's been around recently. It's been in papers a couple of times where they've asked you to do something like define the set of real numbers or uh, say why real numbers are uncountable or something like that. So a real number um they can be positive, they can be negative, they can have a fractional part or not. Um, we can use them for real world measurement. So if, if we're measuring something, uh, we've got that accuracy. Um, and we could say that they have all numbers involved in them, apart from uh, complex or imaginary numbers. So we could say that they're the set of rational and irrational numbers. So this is a good way of answering the question. Set of all rational and irrational numbers. And if we answer the question like that, we'll always get the points. So we've identified that it's the union of those sets. It's a set of all rational and irrational numbers. Um, why is it an uncountable set? Um, so it's sometimes called an uncountable set because there are uh, always a number in between two of the rational numbers. So if I've got 3.2 and 3.3, between that are loads of different numbers. So, you know, even just thinking about it, I've got, you know, 3.21 and 3.22, but then, you know, I've also got 3.23, I've got 3.211, 3.2101, I could keep going. So those sets, the, the set in between of these numbers is, is uh, uncountable there are too many numbers in the set of real numbers so as just three different number types that we've looked at there on these questions we've looked at irrational numbers we've looked at natural numbers and we've looked at what real numbers are as well